In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a simple terrain using the terrain tool. So the terrain tool is loaded here on the side. The first thing to do is to load a survey file. So let's click on File and say Open. And I'll use this base file. Now the base file is actually included in the install of the terrain tool. It's under Program Files, um, LN Soft, and then Terrain Tool. So you click Open. That's it there. Now you can see this is a simple uh, survey file. It's got uh, AutoCAD blocks and it's got 3D polylines. Uh, there's different attributes with the blocks there. So I will just include all of that survey data and make a very simple terrain using all that data. So to start with, uh, I just create a source. You say OK. Uh, the layer I'm going to use is survey data. That's what's all that is. It's all on that layer. I will just call it um, survey. You can give it a, a description name if you wanted to. But that's not important. Uh, and now we have 3D polylines and blocks. So I'll just turn on 3D polyline and turn on blocks. Now you can set up those. Just click there. The default thing is OK for the 3D polylines and for the blocks. Um, you can click on that and you can see point is shown so point is the only block that's given in this drawing so you click that. Uh, for elevation of the block I will use the attribute called elevation um, and then I can filter it well I don't need to filter it, I could filter it for a particular one of like a ground or a top or something like that but I don't I won't filter it. I'll just include all of them and then I'll say OK. So now that's a, you can see there, the survey uh, source. Now if you just click that, it'll keep it locked open. Now the next thing you do is to create a terrain using that source. So we just click on terrains and we say add uh, terrain 1 is the default name, that's fine. We click add and we will include the source called survey and we can leave on the constrained edges. Say OK to that. OK. Again there's no build has happened because there's a smart update is switched on. And finally we put the output and we say create. And we'll just create a simple wireframe. OK. And output by default that's fine and we say OK. Now you can see there's the, a wireframe has been created for that uh, base data. If I click over to uh, 3D wireframe mode, you'll see what it looks like in 3D. Okay, and then I can right click on that and click parallel, see there, and just rotate it slightly. I can also switch off the uh, survey data to see the full thing. So all the survey data is on surface, so I just switch hide that there. And now you can see there is a the the terrain that was created using the terrain tool. Okay, thank you.